Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, let's talk about snack bar, but more importantly, of the method of, okay? Um, so snack bar, this is pretty straightforward. We haven't gone over it yet, but at the same time, it shouldn't be anything new compared to what we've learned before. So snack bar, in case you're not familiar with it, I wasn't before this, what the name of it was. You click on any type of widget and a screen comes up from the bottom and this is called the snack bar. It's kind of like the bottom button bar, except it's a snack bar and <laughs> I have no idea why they came up with that name, but I guess it's as good as any, right? So what do we do? Well, what we actually do is we just create any type of widget. So I'm just gonna say a new center raised button and on pressed, I'm gonna define what the snack bar actually is. So it's gonna be a new snack bar and background color, colors not green, duration. Um, I think the default of this is three. So if you commented this out, it would be three seconds. So you click on it, it comes up, it takes like about three seconds and then it goes right back down again, okay? So we're gonna put it to like 10 just so that we can read it. You know, some mobile applications, you click on it, it comes up and it comes right down, back down and you're like, uh, what did that just say? Okay, so be careful about that. Then the content, of course, it's gonna be here is a snack bar. And then there's gonna be an action, is an, an action, new snack bar action, and it's gonna be label. So you know how there's an undo button right inside here? There is an ability to do an action and that's the label. You click on, hang on, you click on it and it does something. So on pressed for the action, a new action, um, snack bar action. I'm just gonna say you undid the snack bar, just print that out right there. Um, you know, in uh, some applications, you know, you, you can actually have like a, I, I think it's in an email, some emails, you delete it and then it says, are you sure you wanna delete it? Click here to undo. So that's that's what you can do um, for the um, action button, but we'll just leave it nice and simple. And so, and in the end, child show snack bar, that's gonna be for here. So the child is for the raised button. The snack bar is all inside of here, okay? Then we're gonna have the scaffold dot of, we'll go over that in just a couple of seconds here. Here, build context, scaffold, app bar, and body is the new snack bar page, which is right inside of here, okay? So right here, click it, and it comes up. Okay, so how do we make the scaffold and the snack bar show up? So I think it's easy to say scaffold dot show snack bar, that's just the method, and we're gonna show this one right inside here, okay? How do we do this? Okay, well, first of all, I wanna mention, if we grab this right here, we copy it and we paste it right up here. Usually you can do that, right? Normally we have separate widgets so that it's a lot more modular, a lot easier to read, so that's why we separate these widgets out. In this particular case, you actually cannot put it inside of here, just copy it and paste it all inside of here. You have to actually have it a separate widget altogether. Why is that? It has to do with the scaffold itself. If I put it right inside of here, notice where the scaffold actually is. It's right here and it's right here. It's at the home and it's uh, the body of the home. So you can't actually refer to scaffold before it's actually built, right? Because it's a part of it. So it's being built way up inside of here. So it's being built. You can't actually refer to it while it's being built. Right, so what you have to do is you have to separate it out so this can be built, this can be built, and when this refers to scaffold.of, it refers to the context of the widget from before, okay? Remember that um, in Flutter, we have a, a tree-like structure. We have a root widget right here, and then all the child widgets below it, like the sub-widgets. So the information of the build context, when you build a widget, it gets passed down to all the child widgets and the child widgets can access the information of the parents as you go up, okay? So if I build this and now I get this information and I pass it down to all the widgets that are child widgets here, here, here of this widget, 
passes down the information inside of here, I can say scaffold.of, get the build context right inside of there, get that information from the right, right inside of here, which is passed down from here. And what Flutter does is it searches for the calf scaffold in the contexts of above and matches it. Oh, here it is right inside of here. Once it matches it, because it's already built, right? Because it's a separate widget altogether. Then it'll say show snack bar, this particular characteristics, this particular snack bar right here. All right, so this is the method and this is the argument. So, so I hope that's clear. So that's why you cannot put it right inside of here. If in the future you say, hey, why isn't this working? Well, first of all, it gives you a pretty good error and tells you what's going on. But that's the concept. You got to look at this tree structure. And if it's if you're calling um, a widget before the widget is completely built, then you probably have to separate it out later on, make the widget later on, and then use the of context in order to build it, this complete widget itself, and uh, access the uh, methods from it itself. Okay? Super confusing for me. All right, it took me a while to figure this out. I still don't think I have it 100%. I think maybe about 80% I think I have it. Um, what I could not figure out is there's not a good list of things that uses the of. And the of... All of these seem to use the build context. So um, I think there's like a navigator, there's a dot of, there's a style dot of. So there's a lot of different things that use it, but it's not in a nice, simple package. And I can understand that. I don't know if I would organize it that way if I did the uh, documentation either. But just, let's just keep that in mind. In the future, when we use the of, we're, the, the reason where we're getting it, using it, is to get the information from the parent widgets themselves. Okay. I hope that was clear. That was tremendously painful for me, but hopefully let's keep going on, okay? Thanks.